Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith Whittier. I have the pleasure of living in Canada and I can tell you that Wayne Gretzky is one of our great heroes. The best hockey player of all time, somebody who just made a habit of winning Stanley Cups and collecting awards, was a fantastic player. But behind the bench, he wasn't a great coach. You learn that just because somebody's a great player doesn't mean they're going to be a great coach. And in Hollywood, you learn that just because somebody's a fantastic actress does not mean that they're going to be a great director. And yes, I'm talking about Jodie Foster. Going in to see the movie Money Monster, I thought, am I finally going to see a movie directed by Jodie Foster that I enjoyed? And the answer to the question is no. Now, this is one of those movies where it comes back to the old simple fact of, well, there's a couple of things. One is the simple fact of you give too much in the trailers. And then the second aspect is just the fact that there are so many plot holes in this movie. There are enough plot holes in this movie to sink the Titanic. So let's start with the trailer. Now, when you look at the trailer of this movie, you know that you've got two big stars in George Clooney and Ju Julia Roberts. Now, George Clooney's character plays this, like, you know, financial, this financial uh, uh, expert on, uh, on like a money type TV show where he's telling people what to invest in, what not to invest in. Well... He makes a suggestion that ends up costing a character in the movie their life savings. So what does that character do? He shows up at the TV station with a bomb and threatening to kill George Clooney's character. Now the only problem with that is if you've seen the trailer, you know that there are scenes that take place with the, both of those characters outside of the TV studio. But even before we get to that, where exactly is the security on this TV studio? I have a hard time believing that somebody just gets to walk in like this character did as we see in the trailer. Now, Julia Roberts is great. She plays the director of this TV show and she's trying to hold everything together. Giancarlo Esposito, a.k.a. Gustavo Frank from Breaking Bad, also makes an appearance in this movie as the lead uh, police officer on site. The problem with this movie is so plentiful. So, first of all, there are so many things, like I said, that are given away in the trailer. I, have a hard, I had a hard time going into this movie and watching this movie thinking, will anything actually ever happen to George Clooney? Maybe I was right, maybe I was wrong. If you want to check out the movie, you'll see. Um, there are a lot of other things that are going on. So first of all, by the trailer, we know that the characters end up on the street. What, what situation would the police department allow a guy with a bomb to take it onto the streets to risk more hostages. So there's that. Um, in terms of putting together, you know, what's going on behind the scenes, cause, so they're trying to figure out, okay, well this guy lost money, a lot of other people lost money, what happened to the money? Why did it take a guy coming in and holding somebody at hostage for people to start asking that question? Um, I appreciate and I applaud the efforts of George Clooney in this movie, as well as Julie Roberts, and quite frankly, everybody involved. I don't think the writing was spectacular, in this film so I'm not going to blame the acting and again I don't necessarily know if it's Jodie Foster's bad luck but this movie just wasn't entertaining it just wasn't it was very predictable it was again completely spoiled by the by the promotion behind this movie um, and I think it could have been so much better so first of all we've got a character in there playing the we've got uh, an actor in there who's holding everybody hostage who's not a believable threat they should have had somebody like Aaron Paul in there because at least Aaron Paul would have been able to convey the emotion that I believe this character was trying to. Instead, we got a watered-down person who comes in threatening, swearing, and we're all supposed to be scared of him. But in the end, we're thinking to ourselves, well, I'm not afraid of you because I saw the trailer, so I know you're going to get out of the studio. And we have to wait about an hour and ten minutes for that to happen for, then, for there to be any sort of element of surprise in this movie. Poor advertising, poor, poor writing and poorly executed. Um, I think the actors did the best with what they could, but unfortunately, it wasn't much. I give this movie a D plus. In all honesty, probably would have gone lower, but Giancarlo Esposito was in it. It's probably the only thing that saved it for me. Um, at the end of the day, D plus, I do not recommend this movie. I know it's gonna be playing in VIP this weekend, and in my, in my humble opinion, it is a complete waste of a VIP cinema, because it is not that good. Um, if you do end up seeing it, I would love to know what you think, so feel free to reach out to me. Uh, CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Whittier.com. I appreciate you taking the time to check this out. My name is Keith. 
and I'll see you at the movies.